Hi everybody, I'm Victoria from Sleep Technique Valley Fitness and today I'm going to show you a really good killer core workout which is also fantastic for your glutes and building strong posture and classical line. So all you're going to need today is two things to act as obstacles or markers to keep you accountable for your technique and height of leg. I'm using point shoes because I have lots of them lying around my studio but you can use whatever you want, two water bottles, rolled up towels and all they're going to do is help you keep an eye on your technique, height of leg and as I say, keep you accountable. We don't want them falling over at any point. We're going to start lying on our mat, taking a few simple exercises on our back, side and front. We're going to start with a little Batman and rond de jambe to the side. So drawing the tummy in, keeping the shoulders pressed open, no dipping between them, long neck. Let's rond de jambe this leg to the front, to the side and don't rock off this hip. We want to nail it to the floor as we draw it back and low and take the same thing again, up. Touch just outside your obstacle, lift up. Touch heel to heel in first. Again, lift, up and rond. Back to your first. Lift, up and rond and back to your first. Give me four more. Lift and lower. Here's three, controlling that abdomen, keep strong on that supporting side. Here's two, touch, lift and lower. Last one, touch, lift second side. So we draw it up, same distance, each side and lower. So you can keep your eyes on your markers and the distance your leg is traveling. Lift up, rond, lift up and lower, lift up, rond, lift up and lower. More. Draw the tummy in, shoulders open, good. Lift up and touch, lift up and lower. Last time. And lower. Well done everybody, just draw those legs in towards you. Let the hips fall out open to the side. Let the knees just bounce gently or rock open. We're going to keep the same turned out position and extend with one leg on top, this time classical fifth. We're going to try with two legs just four times. Draw the toes up towards your crutch and then extend both legs just past your markers. Draw back in and lower. So keep those legs hovering off the floor as much as you can. Good. Try to only touch them at the last second, then they lower. Good. If you really want to challenge yourself, don't lower those legs. Keep them hovering off the floor the whole time. Good. We can progress to this. Extend and lengthen. Draw up. Squeeze and lower. Well done. If you did that off the floor, well done. Can you keep those legs just off the floor at 45 degrees? We're going to switch and change, working those inside thighs and taking the legs each time out to your markers and crossing back in. Go for eight, seven. Look out past the ends of your toes. So legs going slightly wider just to your markers. Good. So not a usual batu. Slightly wider to that split, wherever you've laid your markers. Two and one, well done, draw the legs in. This time extend out, rock onto your front hip. Just take this leg behind you and stretch into that hip flexor. Lean onto this elbow. And if you wish, elongate this side. Stretching out, not taking any tension in those hip flexors and thighs. Extend that leg on the second side, draw that toe towards your bottom, lean into the opposite elbow and reach back towards the top corner, shoulders down, stretch into those hip flexors. And rock back and come directly onto your side. On our side, similarly, these obstacles we've set up at about ankle or lower shin height. We're going to draw the toe up to classical retiré passé, working our glutes, then again engaging our core and waist, we're going to extend the leg devant. Now you have to clear your obstacle, but no further. Again, back to your knee and you have to extend your obstacle as you go back. Again, past knee, extend it to the devant, past your knee, keep the leg rotated through attitude, extend arabesque. So each time, passing your marker, uplift and extend, again draw it in, extend devant, working the waist, working those rotators and extend arabesque, your final one, arabesque, lengthen out from fingertips to toes and engage those glutes, lower down, bring this leg up and over 
and just stretch out into that glute and into your lower back. Plant both tailbones on the floor, wrap around, take a spiral twist, look towards the back wall, stretch out that working side. Well done, then coming back on the same way into those elbows, rock onto your opposite side. If you don't feel confident just following along with my voice, then please adjust your mat. But I'm gonna take it on the second side. So on your second side, same thing, draw the foot to your knee, retire passe. Extend devant, past your obstacle, back through your retire. Extend arabesque, and from this angle, you can see we're engaging that glute to keep your turn out, back through your passe and extend out devant. Back through your passe. Your body weight can shift just slightly forward as you extend back and through to your passe. Extend devant, pass your obstacle, engage your core, engage your side. Extend arabesque and once more, in through your passe. Extend devant, final one, extend arabesque. Lengthen out fingers to toes. Well done, hover it there, then lower your arm, lift the leg up and over, stamp it down and turn back to face me. Wrap around, grab that thigh. Make sure both seat bones are placed on the floor. If this one is lifted, you won't get a true stretch. Drop it down, drop your shoulders, get that deep spiral twist. And one final exercise, coming onto all fours. Let's spin it around. So, on all fours. Experiment a little, it does adjust with the length of your leg and the proportions of your body. For me, these obstacles are good at about ankle height, ankle to mid lower shin height. We're going to extend one leg to arabesque and same as we did devant. We're going to lift up, we're not quite going to touch the floor, we're going to extend out to the side, lift up and lower down. Again, up, extending to the side. This is about core stability more than anything else. And then glutes in the rotation of the arabesque and touch to lower down. So working our glutes here, then working our core as we take our levers further off our center axis, control lift and lower down. Again, up, extend, extend just past, but you don't have to touch the floor with this one and lower down. Good, draw the leg in, just sit back and stretch out for four, three, two, and one, then sitting back up, extend the toe again, long neck, long shoulders, and lift up. So we lift up and lower, good, and down. Keeping the shoulders square, the tummy drawn in, lift and lower down, engaging the glutes in the turned out arabesque, engaging your core, as you move those levers further away from your center axis, up and lower, lift and lower down. Just extend it back, drop the head, stretch it out. And come to face me, well done. So three key exercises you can do, front, side and back there to work into your core, draw your waist in, engage those glutes. It's a great one for your core stability as well, improving balance and posture. Take that one with you and I'll see you on the next one. Happy sleeping.